Good morning children. Chapter 11 constructions. We already done uh, new concept with the sum of the two sides. Now this today we are going to do when the two difference of the two sides are given. So let us see the question now. Construct a triangle ABC in which BC equal to 8 centimeter that is base and angle B equal to 45 degree. Again one base angle is given and AB minus AC equal to 3.5 centimeter. So what is the difference of this question? Last quiz, uh, class we have seen that when the sum of the two sides is given then now this time the difference of the two sides are given so rough diagram we will try bc equal to 8 centimeter again angle b equal to 45 degree so construction only so for getting 45 as you know that a 90 degree to be done again uh, bisector bisection to be done angle bisector to be drawn then only 45 degree to be get so one base angle also we got now what is that one a b minus a c equal to 3.5 so a b minus a c a b means a is coming this side so a b is the longer side minus a c so same side if it is given uh, if it is coming there is no problem how we are done the last question that is some of the two sides in the same way we can do so roughly you can see that uh, which side is coming so a b minus a c so the same line only the greater li longer line is co coming so a b uh, minus a c that is 3.5 so 3.5 uh, maybe here approximately we are taking rough diagram only so i'm marking here d it should be equal to 3 3.5 right now as usual pr proceeding the same way how we have done in the sum of the two sides we have to join cd now what happens here we have to draw the perpendicular bisectors of cd so sometimes it is a greater side only because ab is the longer side so we, we, we may get the perpendicular bisector touching point may become here only so rough diagram i'll draw here for easy way so a join here so abc is the required triangle so now read the steps so you can understand very clearly the draw the bc that is baseline segment we have drawn then angle b 45 degree now from bx cut off the length of bd 3.5 centimeter this time it's a difference join cd and draw the perpendicular bisector which is intersecting bx at a join ca and we will get a triangle abc which is the required one right the same procedure what we have done for the sum of the two sides you can see that the longer side is coming on the same side where angle is given so a b minus a c is less there right now difference means two chances are there sometimes what will happen a c minus a b is also will come that will give we can see in the next construction draw bc equal to 8 centimeter so 8 centimeter we are drawing first now what is the angle to be constructed 45 degree for that what is the first angle to be done 90 degree only so taking as a center with the b as a center we are drawing the semicircle again with the same radius first arc again the second arc using this uh, one more arc again this now 90 degree construction is only over now what is the next step we should uh, draw the angle bisector of 90 degree so more than half radius we have taken again here so now this we have to join bx I will complete to this line. So here I will give x dash and here x only. Now what is the length of CBX is 45 degree. This much we have to write 45 degree right. Uh, what is the next step from BX uh, cut off length of 3.5. So just uh, uh, you can use arc also because it's a lower uh, smaller length only so take the measurement of 3.5 like this also we can take okay so 3.5 in the compass we can take and draw the arc otherwise take the scale and uh, mark 3.5 centimeter on bx so 
so that is D now what is the next step CD to be joined again we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of CD so with this more than half above the line below the line we already completed now from D also so we are drawing the uh, perpendicular bisector joining intersecting point what will happen here whatever length we have taken for bx it's not uh, coming joining so extend that line correctly without uh, changing the angle so this is your a so a b is longer only so a we got now a and c to be joined a b c is the required triangle so we got the perpendicular bisector c here c d so a is on the line so we already know that a d and a c are equal also justification b d equal to 3.5 so we are writing b d equal to 3.5 so what is b d here total length of a b minus a d this time it's a difference a b minus a d a b minus a d a d there is no need for us so a d to be replaced with the a c only we already know that a d and a c are equal so a b minus a c if you take the measurement of a b then subtract you can verify by taking the measurement of a b and a c if you do you can see that it is also equal to 3.5 only anyhow actual measurement is not asked we have to do the justification bd equal to 3.5 so ab minus ac if you take the actual measurement then also we will get the 3.5 approximately 3.6 or 3.7 also if you are getting it is correct only nothing to worry about that Construct triangle ABC in which BC equal to 5.6 cm, AC minus AB equal to 1.6, angle B equal to 45, justify your construction. Now we will go for the rough diagram, BC 5.6 okay ac minus ab okay angle b is 45 again so we will draw the 45 degree here so the triangle means we'll get the three sides so ab is the side coming here but instead of ab minus ac what happened here ac minus ab that means ac is the greater side if that is the situation means what we should do means the same line that is 45 degree we should produce backward like this the same ray to be produced backward also now this time what is the distance to be taken 1.6 this is our D now. Now join CD. Again the same step. Draw the perpendicular bisector of CD. Uh, here also it may intersect here. You may get here A. So AC join. This time AC will be greater. This is the idea you are having. Huh? Now uh, here what happens? AC minus AB is given. That means the other side is greater right so that is why we are producing the opposite directions now we will see the justification in this question also so that i will come to know uh, whether it is correct or wrong now what are the steps draw bc 5.6 we have done by 5.6 only construct cbx 45 degree here 45 degree we have constructed next produce bx to x dash in such a way that cut a line segment bd on bx dash that means produced backward direction 1.6 what is the reason means the other side is greater so bd equal to 1.6 and mark this as a d join cd the same step draw the perpendicular bisector uh, which cut a bx at a and join ca to obtain get the required triangle now let us see the construction now Uh, draw BC equal to 5.6 5.6 now 45 degree construction only angle CBX you already seen 45 degree construction many times I'll do that one 
Now angle CBX is equal to 45 degree. Now what is the step I told her? If A is a point here, AB minus AC to be given. But this time AC minus AB is given. So what we should do means we should produce backward the same radius, same array in backward direction. So keep your scale like this only and produce this XB to backward. So let it be X dash only. Now on B X dash we have to take the same distance what we are taken but in the opposite directions we have to go because of the minus. So here what is the distance we are taken 1.6. That is our D. 1.6 okay now CD to be joined as usual uh, what is the next step uh, the perpendicular bisector of CD to be drawn so more than half uh, from D as well as C only so arc I will draw here above the line So join that line. Here this point is A. Again what we should do AC to be joined. It is A. So ABC is the required triangle. Now the justification 1.6 centimeter we should get the difference of these two sides. So 1.6 equal to BD. Now when you take BD, BD is the length of AD minus AB. So AD minus AB. Now A is the point on the perpendicular bisector. AD and AC are equal. So AD is replaced with AC minus AB. This is justification. So we got the difference. Now when you are taking the measurement of AC. It is equal to 4.2. Now AB if you take. It is 2.6. So 1.6 with the actual measurement also we are getting. So just to think that the same side is given that longer side then we can uh, there is no need of producing backward the same ray only we are taking but the other side is greater. So what we should do the same angle whatever we made produce backward on that we should take 1.6. Now the same then joining CD and draw the perpendicular bisector. Now you understood this one one more example we will do. Construct a triangle PQR in which QR 6 cm angle Q 60 degree PR minus PQ 2 cm. So just we will draw the rough diagram QR 6 cm angle Q 60 then PR. So PR means we will not get this side. So what we should do we should produce backward. Now what is the distance to be taken here? D with a distance 2 cm. Now join RD. Draw the perpendicular bisector. So the rough idea you should have then only we can complete join PQR. Now with the last question you came to know you are familiar with the concept. Again I will read the steps. QR 6 cm. Angle RQX is equal to 60 degree. Cut off QD that is equal to 2 cm from the line QX extended to X dash to the opposite line segment of QR. Join RD. Draw the perpendicular bisector which intersect QX at P and join PR. PQR is the required triangle. Any justification is not asked uh, if it is not asked don't do only in the exam and all now for learning stage you can repeat the one now we can see the constructions qr equal to 6 centimeter 
now one cutting that means it's a 60 degree now what happens if it is p this side should be longer but we are given that pr minus pq so other side is longer so we should produce the backward directions the same ray uh, so it will be two centimeter only so just take here here d will come and here i should mark x dash now what is the next step rd to be joined so again the perpendicular bisector of rd more than half to be taken from r it is now we have to join so this is our p q are already there so now join pr so we got to now see the justification what is the justification this distance to be considered qd that is 2 centimeter that means pd minus pq pd minus pq is not in the question pd is not at all there so pd to be replaced with the other side of the perpendicular y sector that is pr so pr minus pq equal to 2 centimeter i think the concept is very clear to you when the difference of the sides are given and uh, one angle is given one base side is given base angle is given and the difference of the two sides are given so now you learn this uh, diagram practice more with this today's class i'm winding up thank you